In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, respected elders, brothers and sisters, Aslam alaikum. Today my topic is Mother's Day and what it means to me. As it is Mother's Day next week, I thought I would share my views on how much importance Islam extends to mothers. There are many verses in the Quran, sayings of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and quotes stating that mothers are to be cherished and should be respected and served as best as one can be. It is an obligatory duty and in importance comes next to respect and service to Allah and the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Let me first quote the relevant verses of the Holy Quran. And your Lord has decreed that you serve none but him and do good to parents. If either or both of them reach old age before you, say not fee to them nor chide them and speak to them with a generous word. And we have enjoined on man goodness to his parents. The next verse is more empathetic and gives reasons why a person, man or woman, should be thankful to Allah and equally thankful to one's parents. And we have enjoined on a human being concerning his parents. His mother bears him with travail upon travail and his wheeling takes two years, saying, Give thanks to me and to your parents, and to me is your eventual return. There are all those six verses in the Quran in which Allah specifically enjoins children and others in a family to look after their parents and elderly people. I don't think that just by observing one special day for mothers or fathers fulfills all that we owe to our parents. It should be constant love, respect and kindness to be shown to the parents, not as a favour but as an obligation which has been enjoined by Allah. A mother should be respected, loved, admired, adored and treasured. Why? Because she plays a big part in our upbringing, from infancy to adulthood, feeds us, cleans us, shows that much love and affection which keeps us happy while putting herself in discomfort and passing sleepless nights, and above all, recites out prayers and reads our bedtime stories to increase our knowledge. Please consider that our mother lavishes all these services and love not for any return, but just to see us in health and joy. Mostly, children consider that these little things are granted, like making lunch for school, or giving hot water bottle when it's freezing outside, or ironing clothes which adds glow to our turnout at school or at a dinner party. There is a hadith saying, stating that mothers should be respected the most, and here it is. A man came to the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Messenger of God, who among the people is the most worthy of my good companionship? The Prophet said, Your mother. The man said, then who? The prophet said, then your mother. The man further asked, then who? The prophet said, then your mother. The man asked again for the fourth time, then who? The prophet said, then your father. This does not mean that the father is to be held in less respect and honour. It only shows how much a mother means to us, for her love, care and affection shown at every stage of our lives in our upbringing. And that is why every child, by instinct, feels a spontaneous love for her. In fact, her role serves as a living example for children to show similar love and affection to others without any considerations. It also shows how much Allah appreciates and honours the sacrifice and care shown by a mother and that we should not take all what she does for granted. The Holy Book of Islam and the practice of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, repeatedly reminds us to honour, respect and take care of them not only when the parents are well, but also when they need our help and support, especially in old age, in the same way as they looked after us when we were infants and growing young. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, once said that paradise lies under your mother's feet. It does not mean that paradise only lies under the feet of a mother and not a father, or by doing other good deeds. It is to emphasize the important role a, a woman in various capacities plays in the lives of men. She is a caring sister, a loving wife, and a mother, nursing our future generation. In all these roles, her patience, sacrifice, and love provide such a symbolic role in character, building and instilling love and affection, which no other institution or person can. This symbolic role has been combined in the person of a mother, and by following her example, one is sure to earn paradise. A mother's role within the family is not just to be our cook, nurse or teacher. In fact, she is like an anchor which keeps the ship of home steady and comfortable and life at home keeps on going. 
She is the captain, <coughs> and all the people in the ship enjoy it while she is stirring it all the time, through thick and thin. It has also been said that those who are the prayers of their mothers will end in paradise, because her prayers always come from the heart, and Allah loves sincerity and pure love, as he himself is the beneficent and the merciful. We should always try to do something nice for our mums to show how much she needs to us. Without a mother, a family is incomplete. She is the one who is the centre of a social relationship, hospitality, and who has kept the home sweet and fascinating. Here is another hadith <coughs> that shows how much we should respect our parents, even after their death. Abu Sayyid Sayyidi said, We were once sitting with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, when a man from the tribe of Salma came and said to him, O oh, Messenger of Allah, do my parents have rights <coughs> over me even after they have died? And the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said, Yes, you must pray to Allah to bless them with his forgiveness and mercy, fulfill the promises they made to everyone, and respect their relations and their friends. Is it not a fact of life that from the day we were born we owe a lot to our mothers? The Arabic word for womb is rum, which is derived from the word raham, which means mercy. In Islamic tradition, one of God's 99 names is al rahim or the most merciful. When I was writing this speech, I did some research on Mother's Day, and I found out that it was first celebrated by a lady called Anna Jarvis, who held a memorial for her mother in America. She then began a campaign to make Mother's Day a public holiday in the United States. Although she was successful in 1914, but became very disappointed when it became commercialised by the 1920s, Jarvis's holiday was adopted by other countries and is now celebrated all over the world. Traditionally, each person offers a gift, card, or remembrance towards their mothers and grandmothers on Mother's Day. But from an Islamic point of view, Mother's Day should be every day and not to be celebrated on a particular day. Likewise with Father's Day, we should respect, love and cherish our parents every day and that will make every member of the family loving and caring people. Every religion enjoins us to be kind, generous and affectionate to parents and for that matter to every fellow being. Thank you. Jazak. Jazak. Jazak.